our own Mark Wahlberg, Gian Gametti. Oh. How are you, buddy? Hey, hey good nice to, see to see you, man. How are you? Thank you. I want to see more Marky Mark. It's good, man. It's good. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Totally. We talked about Marky Mark, actually. He had his brother, Donnie, who was a new kid on the block. Absolutely. Um, Another good actor. Well, but, yeah, oh, he was amazing in The Sixth Sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Small part, but you're right, Donnie Wahlberg. Huh? See, he helps. Um, sure. But I guess it works. Those guys, you know, Mark Wahlberg, pop star, uh, went on to build a career, but in, in, in an era these days, pop stars are falling apart and music isn't being sold. There's the segue. Right, it's kind of selling. Classical you know? music. This is why you're here. You get a show on CBC Radio and you're talking to classical music? What is this? <laughs> it's, 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 yeah, classical, no, you know, I was going to say classical music is the new rock and roll. Not totally true, but <laughs> but might be. Uh -huh. Okay, check this out. We've talked about uh, music a lot on the show, obviously, right. and, and there's been a lot of talk about a crisis in the music business, and you and I on the show have talked about the fact that it might not so much be a crisis as a transformation based on new technology, uh, digital media, so uh, the major labels got caught with their pants down and it benefited some indies. But the fact of the matter is, album sales are down based on downloading. And if you look at the Nielsen sound, sound scan over the last year in North America, uh, Virtually every genre of music down. So jazz down 8.3%. Alternative rock and pop yeah. down 9%. Rap down 20%. The only genre up. Classical music 22.5% up. Wow. So what does that mean? Is it the new rock and roll? Is it a cultural renaissance? Are we all going, you know, getting excited about classical music? And you answer it for us right now, don't you? I talked to a few people who will address it. Sure. Take a good. look. explain the growth and sales of classical music at a time when all other genres of music are seem to be ebbing. The classical music industry has gotten better at understanding that they can appeal to new audiences. Um, I think they aren't as um, bound to serving the sort of typical kind of long hair, gray hair um, market as they once were. The audience is getting older and older people tend to listen to classical music rather than the latter stuff. Older people also tend not to download. They're still going out and buying CDs, so that's keeping the sales up as well. Could be that they, that older demographic just doesn't want to bother with computers. So you think it's because of digital music, it's because of, uh, of downloading, that uh, we're seeing a spike in classical music? Is that is that because because people are finding it on the internet? Uh, I think it's because they have ac absolute access to everything. They're able to pick and choose from an entire world of music and there's a, a, a re-emergence of interest in that particular art form. So this is sort of the long tail in the sense that exactly. it, classical music was never the big blockbuster form. Now, because of the internet, it's, it's finding its place. Yeah, you have the things that are not blockbusters at all, but that if they're available to everybody who wants to get them, the sales can be considerable. If part of the success of classical music is the crossover acts, Josh Groban, Andrea Bocelli, Il Devo. How much is this upswing in sales and interest really an indication of people's interest in classical music? Well, there are all those people who think they'd like to listen to classical music, but they're not sure where to start. And when you think about people like Il Devo and Josh Groban, they make they make it seem really easy, and it's, it's easy to listen to music. Um, they're very friendly acts in a lot of ways, and so people don't feel intimidated by it. Do you actually think it represents an interest in classical music or just in pop songs? Well, it, it's mostly pop. I don't think it does. I think the more long-haired Bach, Beethoven, Brahms, Stravinsky uh, is an entirely different animal altogether than the Josh Robins of You know, you can take two lines on this. One is the, no, that's just pop music with a, a strong classical influence, but, you know, it's the same people who buy, you know, Diva Records by Celine Dion and Mariah Carey. Um, but the other way to look at it is that um, once that kind of barrier is breached a little bit, there's no reason why somebody won't buy an Andrea Bocelli record and then go buy other things that have those arias on them and start to become... So, so Il Devo's like a gateway drug? Yeah. It seems like there's a lot of contemporary music, uh, especially hip and indie bands, who are using classical music. Is that a growing trend or is that just a perception? I think it's definitely been growing in the past few years. The number of young indie bands on any particular local scene who might have a cello player or a violinist as part of their lineup these days is really remarkable. Regardless of whether or not it's hip, it certainly is uh, a direct link, I think, to 
to the emotions, and I think that's why a lot of people are using it these days. Wants to pull the lid off her. So is classical music the new pop? <laughs> I would say that classical music is part of the new pop. I don't think it's the new pop so much as it is what it always was. Well, that, that might be a little bit of an overstatement. And in this cruel so you sound like you basically don't buy that we have a story. Basically, you don't buy that that classical music is is part of a that it is growing in in, in in popular interest. No, no, I don't. You call Il Devo classical again, and I will cut you. But I, that, that, that's the controversy, right? And I'm really sorry that I had to inflict Il, Il Devo on the nation again. But it is a, it is a, it is a, you know, is that classical music? Is that part of the, the Renaissance? Uh, so there's, there's a lot of schools. That everybody agrees that it's been on an upswing, whether it's going to last. Um, whether it's here to stay, uh, whether this is for a, hundreds of years, though. But it, but there is. I mean, if you talk to the TSO guy, um, he's saying he's seeing larger audiences and younger audiences coming out to classical music, and maybe maybe as an antidote to the manufactured music they see. Well, that's exactly maybe. what it is, though, right? Because the pop music is, for the most part, so manufactured and so crap that you're looking for some sort of artistry. And it's all there. The question is, will downloading, will digital media, um, is is that going to benefit classical music the way uh, the long tail, as we talked about, i.e., getting out there because it has more. Yeah, you know what? The long tail is based on a book. I'll talk. I'll, I'll, we'll talk about that probably next week on the hour. More on that subject. Which we should. Um, uh, but uh, is it that, or is it? Some argue that it's uh, it's that the people who listen to classical music have, haven't caught up with digital media, so it's actually the calm before the storm, and I, classical I, music is going to decline as well. I bought, well listen, yeah. you're going to rush me away. Before no, we go, a ton of stuff. On before we go, iTunes. you know what day it is? Happy New Year. It's Persian New Year. Notus. Yeah. Well, that's right. Notus. Thank, thank you to the two Notus. people who... Thank you. So, yeah. It's the spring, spring equinox is, right. is Persian New Year, right? And so I thought as a way of bridging the gap between the Greeks and Persians created by, you know, 300... Think of the Spartans right? kill the Persians? <laughs> yes, that, yeah. Um, a movie that nobody really needs to see, by the way. If you, uh, I want you to look in the camera right, right. and speak to the individual Persians right across the country, hundreds of thousands of them, yeah. and say, Eid de Shoma, Eid de Shoma, Mubarak. Eid de Shoma, Mubarak. Very nice. Eid de Shoma, Mubarak. Happy New Year. Good to see you, Gian. Gian will be right back.